Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a twist out video. If you want to continue to see how I get my beautiful twist out, keep watching. So today I'm going to be doing a protein treatment by Afro-G. So I'm going to start off by using this shampoo. I have already wet my hair and I'm going to work this shampoo throughout my hair. After working the shampoo throughout my hair, I will rinse it out in my sink in the bathroom. The next step is the FOG two step protein treatment. So this stuff is watery and you want to work it throughout your hair. So I'm doing this over the sink so that I don't make a mess. The directions say to use a wide tooth comb to fully distribute this product throughout your hair to make sure you don't miss any hair strands. I make sure to use the praying hands method and the wide tooth comb to make sure I get it throughout all this kinky curly thick hair okay because as you can see this this is going to need a lot of work to get this stuff through my hair. After I've worked this through my hair, I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer. It can be a hooded dryer or a cap dryer. Just make sure you don't put a plastic um, shower cap underneath this. Um, I'm putting it on medium heat and I'm going to let this dry. I let it dry for about like 20 minutes and it has to dry, not completely, but it has to be hard and crunchy. And that's when you know it's time to rinse it out. This part is very important. You do not want to detangle your hair while it is crunchy. That is a no-no. You will break your hair off. So as soon as it gets crunchy, you want to wash it out. And now I'm going to be using this Afro-G's Balancing Moisturizer after I've washed out the protein treatment. Because protein treatments can make your hair dry, you want to use this Balancing Moisturizer to restore the moisture back into your hair. And this is where I will thoroughly detangle my hair while the moisturizing conditioner is on my hair to help give my hair that slip that it needs to get those tangles out of my hair. I'm using the widest side of this comb first and then as soon as that is smooth as I can get it, I will use the finer side of this comb to finish detangling my hair to get it as smooth as I can. By the way, this detangling comb is by Kiss and I found it at my local Walmart. Now I'm going to wash that balancing moisturizer out and I'm going to put my leave-in conditioner by Curls Poppin' Pineapple Collection, the leave-in conditioner, and I'm going to coat that with my Shea Moisture Anti-Breakage Frizz Free Shine Mist Oil to lock in the moisture. Look at the bounciness of those curls, good lord. So I put my leave-in conditioner in my oil throughout four sections of my hair. You don't want to oversaturate your hair with too much product because the more product you put in your hair, the longer it's going to take for your twist out to dry. You just want to put enough product to keep your hair moisturized and smooth when you apply your leave-in conditioner and oil and keep in mind that you're going to put a twisting butter in as well. Well, speak of the devil, there it is. So you're going to use the Millie's Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle or whatever twisting butter of your choice. You want to use about that much. You don't want to use too much of this stuff because like I said, you use too much product, you're going to have a longer dry time for your hair. I'm going to do the rest of my flat twist off camera and then I'm going to show you the last two twists. I also meant to mention that I'm doing this on damp hair and not wet hair for the same reason you want to cut down on dry time. 
These are my last two flat twists. You want to make sure you're twisting them as flat to your scalp as possible. Hint the name, flat twist. So when you see that extra product on there like that, you want to go ahead and strip that off because keeping that extra product on there is going to what? Extend your dry time. So say it with me, cut down the dry time, okay? I let my hair air dry for about four days and now I'm about to take my twists out and I'm going to be using this nourishing coconut milk anti-breakage serum by organics to minimize frizz I use clips in my hair while I'm taking down my twist to make sure I don't miss any twists. I have been out the house at least twice with still having at least two twists in my head because I have so much thick hair I miss a few twists sometimes. Let me know in the comments if this have ever happened to you before. After I've taken out all my twists I shake and I fluff out my twist until I am happy with the results I will pick it out as well and fluff it out some more for volume and shape now I'm using my edge booster to lay those edges yes gotta lay those edges I usually like to use my even edge controller but I've been liking edge booster a little bit more lately because it doesn't flake as much as the even does I still love my even but I'm like an edge booster right now as far as the edge control so you guys that is the end of this video I thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and of course subscribe so that you can watch my future videos I will be posting weekly as long as my editor is working with me that's what took so long to post this video and I also want to say thank you for my new subscribers including my co-workers I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me I'm almost at 100 subscribers 1k subscribers is the goal for this summer for me so help your sister in christ out thank you for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next video